The majority of things that come through our front door have been put aside. Whether it's the equipment or the people that we've got here who, for one reason or another, have been deemed to be unemployable. Bill runs a computer recycling business with a simple mission. Salvage money from the machines to employ people who have mental health problems or disabilities. Everybody that comes here needs help. Where you got, Scott? Junk. Scott, he's been with us for about three and a half years, and when he came to us, he couldn't do a thing. I, I was pretty much not very good at much. I have I have improved quite dramatically since I've come here. It's, it's it's done me the world of good. It has. That's what your dad says as well, isn't it? But it's a tough business. The price of metals has fallen, and they need all the scrap computers they can get. If we don't get any collections, we have we've got no income. Have a nice journey. I shall try. Don't get back too late. I'll, we'll try our best, but you know what the traffic's like. I know what fucking Adam's driving is like. <sighs> Today they have a busy day of collections. Onwards and upwards, driver. And the team are hopeful of a good haul. What have we got for today? We've got the first one we're meant to be there for 10 o'clock and there's no chance of that. We've got quite a challenge, huh? <laughs> Who wants this kind of stuff? We'll take it, yeah. Two servers, three UPSs, PC, an overhead projector. Oh, we'll definitely make use of that. My hands do not want to work very well this morning. <sighs> What's next? Bill and the guys eke out a living by stripping down the electrical waste and recycling the various metals and cables. That's probably a tonne of equipment in there which is worth about 400 quid to us. Some they are able to refurbish and sell as affordable computers in a small shop they run. The tradesman's entrance this is. Some heavy rock being bellowed out. How are you doing, Bob? Not bad, how are you? Yeah. How many have you got here? Five. Yeah, five, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Take care. All right, Take see you later. later. So we've got these five compact 610s here. They bring it over, I check it over, stick it out on the shelves if it works. On the digital poverty side as well, if someone's looking for work, they might not be able to afford a new laptop, but still need the technology that everyone in society really needs to rely on these days. So they can come here. For Bill, it's all part of his belief in thinking small and helping those around you. We've all got to work together to make things better. It isn't going to work in large communities. We know that. It's down to small community enterprises like this one. Primary school. What do you think? It's going to be all right, yeah? All right with yeah. That? Not the day for me to go crashing, is it? got our own characters but bring us all out and you'll find out you'll like us all as you're finding out yeah, what's not. Bill like the boss oh god uh, do you want to go first dad oh, it's, it's <laughs> fine to me it's got a strong personality strong that's what you call it is it <laughs> uh, he's got he's got a wicked sense of humor let's put it like that <laughs> I don't tolerate fools. I chuckled when I remember the first time I met you. <laughs> I believe the opening gambit was, what do you want, you bastard? <laughs> That's probably true, actually. Just go and limp off. I, I can get loads done when there's nobody else here, you say. That's true. Yeah, but is it of any value? If it comes over anything, with anything positive, let me know, will you? Because I've been here five years, not heard anything more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bill's pessimism has been made worse by the squeeze on funding in mental health. People don't consider mental health to be a problem. This year we've applied for £96,000 worth of funding and every single time that we've applied for funding it's been refused. 
da de dee da da de do da da de dee da da de do What were you up to before you got into the CRC? I was a long term unemployed from mental health issues. <laughs> I have lots of trouble with anxiety and depression. When I was 35 I got diagnosed with Asperger's. I didn't understand up to that point why I didn't fit in. <laughs> so. The modern world, you have to sell yourself. That's an area that I'd struggle with, promoting myself, because I don't like being the centre of attention. I don't like saying I'm good at things. I, I would be quite meek. That's my alarm saying start closing up. Um, I have been dealing with quite severe depression, but there was a time when I was having panic attacks every day for months on end, couldn't leave the house. Working in a place like this actually does help that. There we go, that's everything. So there's been jobs where um, they've actually made my mental health worse, mostly the warehouse jobs I used to do. 12 hour shift for people who just see you as a, uh, a machine or a tool to be used it does make a difference the way that this company is being run. And it's one of the reasons I'm actually able to start coming off the tablets now. You have reached your destination. Does that look about right? Yeah, look, it looks, looks about it. Do you need to sign anything? Yes. That one there. Yeah. And then turn over the page. That one there. Not bad for a day's drive round, but the question is, does it cover all the petrol we've been using to get from one place to another? I would say it's just about covered it. Does your heart not sing a little bit when you come home? Stoke and Trent? No. Come on, Scott. Be a bit more positive. Here we are. Oh, sweet home. Hi. Bastards. <laughs> good catch, good catch, Alex. Cables. <laughs> Considering there are six points of collection, it's quite meagre, really. But we'll probably make 200, 250 pounds out of that if we're lucky. And then you've got to take into account both of the staff members that were on the trip are both going to be paid. Thank you. Tomorrow. It's a cheer cheerful and wonderful day. We've <laughs> yep. done a good job for the past two days, so you know, you'll be going out again. I'll do my I'll do my best to keep it up. See you in the morning. Yeah. That's our figures for this year so far. We've done just under £21,000 worth of business, but our outgoings are just under twenty grand. so we've basically got £1,000. The wage is tomorrow, 900 So we're going to end up with pennies again. It's getting very, very difficult to justify. It all come back to money and Stoke and Trent hasn't got any. <laughs>